It's not the biggest city in Canada. It's probably not the best known. But since 1857, Ottawa has been the nation's capital. It's got a population not far short of a million, and a market that size is ripe for professional sport. Most is impeccably Canadian, ice hockey and the local version of gridiron. And now there's also a burgeoning soccer franchise. Four partners, very well known in the city, philanthropic, very, very successful businessmen, uh, got together and wanted to bring, bring CFL football back to the city, uh, wanted to renovate the, the park, and we got involved in, there was a, involved in a partnership with the, with the city. And uh, I, I just happened to be in the right place at the right time. So I was invited in and uh, joined the group. And uh, it's been oh, five, six years to, from that date to this point. This is Lansdowne Park. It's been here since 1908, though it's been thoroughly revamped in the last few years. Now it's the pride of the city and holds 24,000 fans. Usually those fans have been here for the local Gridiron League, the CFL. For nearly 90 years, it was home to the Ottawa Rough Riders until their demise in 1996. The sport returned this year with a new franchise and the company behind the deal also used the presence of the modernized stadium to form a professional soccer team. But it's not a particularly easy thing to do from scratch. And so the first task was really to try and find the, uh, the right head coach that would be a great fit for Ottawa, and uh, we interviewed some very strong candidates, but Mark Dos Santos uh, uh, came out on top. Dos Santos, a Montreal native with Portuguese heritage, now had to assemble a squad of players. He previously claimed the United Soccer League title with Montreal Impact, and when the call came, he was in Brazil, coaching the Palmeiras youth squad. What brought me to Ottawa was the challenge of the project. It's a project where you have a new team that has no players. There's no club. It has nothing at all, and you must start totally from scratch. But I believe that with the construction of our stadium, along with everything the city of Ottawa brings, with what the club directors want to do here, and with the way they want to grow, I thought it would be a great opportunity to take on this project. Dos Santos's first task, even before drafting the players, was to send out invitations to coaches to form his backroom team. Former Canadian international Martin Nash accepted, as did Liverpool's goalkeeping legend Bruce Grobola. And unlike the three Canadian MLS clubs, the Fury also boasts a large contingent of local players. We've always been of the opinion that, above all, we must bring in players with quality, but who are also Canadian. We want them to help the club and the national team. If Canada is to be successful as a national team, then there will have to be Canadian players playing at the highest level possible. Whilst the emphasis has been on recruiting talented Canadians, the Fury still have a number of overseas players on their books. Twelve of them, in fact, from eight different countries. And that includes the team captain, Irishman Richie Ryan. Come on. Um, I think um, on the field, it's been it's been tough for us really, for Mark to put together a full squad of players from scratch, and for us all to gel together. It's been a difficult job for him and for us as players as well. But I think we've played some good football during the season. We haven't had the rub of the green when it comes to results. There's only us that can put that right. And then off, off the field, I think all you have to do is look around the new stadium to see that all, all the, the progress and a lot of money has gone into the project that they started many years ago. It's actually been three years in the making. The North American Soccer League, the second tier of professional soccer below MLS, awarded Ottawa a franchise in 2011, pending the reconstruction of the stadium. Now that's been done and they've begun playing, the Fury has been able to concentrate on being competitive. This year, our main objective as a club was to get the team off the ground, as we've done, 
and to earn respect in the league. But the most important thing is to feel that at the end of the season, we've secured a very strong foundation for the second year. In the second year, we want the team to reach the playoffs. The 10-team North American Soccer League is split into two seasons. The Fury finished sixth in the nine-game spring season, three places ahead of FC Edmonton, Canada's other entry in the league. The fall season is a double round robin with 18 fixtures, with playoffs deciding an overall champion. The Fury haven't done so well in the fall and recorded only two wins in their first 10 matches. Having said that, they haven't been disgraced and are hopeful they can build upon what's been a solid debut year for Ottawa's first professional soccer franchise. For now, uh, we're, we're happy to build our fan base, get ourselves settled in the North American Soccer League. We've found that it's a very strong league, that it's getting stronger every year, and therefore that will be a challenge in and of itself. And the Amway Canadian Championship is also a challenge for us because it gives us the opportunity uh, to play against the MLS teams in Canada. So, you know, we're looking forward to some great soccer times and uh, uh, to putting uh, Ottawa on the North American soccer map.